G'day guys, Pete, Pete's Tools, how are we going today? Hey, I've got my new plasma cutter here and I'm going to do an assembly video for you guys and I'll show you how to assemble it and get it cut in no time at all. So that's what we'll do today guys, we'll assemble this little bugger and then we'll do our first cut and we'll see if it actually goes or not, eh? Yeehaw! Same as usual guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below and let's put this little baby together, eh? Right here guys, so my new plasma cutter this week is called a Best Arc Machine. And so far so good guys, it looks pretty damn good to me. So what you might notice, it's a little bit different on this machine than say, this machine here is basically the same as this, but this is just a little bit more flasher version of it, if you know what I mean. This here has post time, this has post time, but this has a digital readout for post time. This has a digital readout for your amps, whereas this only has a digital readout here for your amps. But much of the muchness are basically the same. Apart from the fact that this one here has got the air gauge in the front and it's also got the adjuster for the air in the front. Well, sometimes you'll find with these ones here, if I turn it around, guys, you see here, guys, this has basically got the gauge. Instead of on the back, it's got it here. And this has also got a big water trap thing on the back here. Whereas we have a water trap on the back of this one, but if you have a look at this, this has got the water trap already enclosed in like a case. It's in a metal box, so you can't knock it off. And also, it's a lot skinnier in the back than what this is. So if you're putting this machine here on a shelf or something, you can get it right up the back of the shelf. Whereas this one, you got a bit sticking out. And you might say, well, how is that going to make any difference, Pete? Well, it does. It makes a lot of difference, especially if you've only got limited space. Now what I was going to do guys is show you an assembly video of this machine here. But as you can see, we don't have to assemble any of this stuff. It's already done, comes out of the box exactly like that. There's no assembly to do at all. Quite impressed really. There's absolutely nothing to assemble on this machine. Whereas the machine like this took me about 45 minutes to assemble it. So if you're not very good at assembling these machines, have a look at this model machine. Now this machine guys comes with a box of accessories, it comes with an airline which I don't know what you need it for because you don't. It comes with a crappy earth clamp, like all these machines have a crappy earth clamp. What impressed me with this is it comes with a proper user manual, absolutely unbelievable guys. If you look at this, it's a glossy version of it as well, it's not just a bloody paper thing. It tells you how to plasma cut, it tells you how to do all sorts of shit which is quite impressive for a Chinese machine. It also comes with a 220 volt adapter down to 110. This is a multi voltage machine. It'll light up there on 110 or 220 depending what you're plugged into it. It automatically detects what voltage. The only thing to remember guys is if you're buying this as a 50 amp machine you need to run it on 220 volts because if you put 110 volts into it it's only going to run on 35 amps. We get a couple of sets of new consumables, a couple of hose clips, and a reel of thread seal tape. Which once again guys, I don't know what you need that for because it's just plug and play. It's the only plug and play machine I've ever come across actually. Well, so far anyway. But have a look at this guys. See guys where I showed you the water separator thing before where you can let out any excess water you've got on there just by pushing the button at the bottom there. But also, all you got to do is plug your airline in here, there's nothing to assemble whatsoever. Whereas the other ones, you got to assemble them for half an hour or so and you got to sort of be a mind reader because the instructions are no bloody good. Anyway Pete, we haven't plugged it in to actually see if the bloody thing goes yet, but so far so good guys. And the torch you get with it as standard guys is 4 metres long and it's an AG60P torch and the P stands for pilot arc, sometimes you get these that are just AG60s and they are just for a non-pilot arc machine but the P behind it stands for pilot arc guys. Uh, 4 meters, nice looking torch, feels good in your hand, feels nice and solid. So what we'll do guys, because I don't have to assemble the bloody thing, we'll plug it in and see if it actually goes, eh? Yeah! So what I'll do guys is I'll show you how the torch plugs into it, and then we'll plug some air into it and then we'll see what happens. Once again guys, just the standard fittings on the plasma torch, the pilot arc torch. We've got the main lead here, which is your main power lead. We've got your lead here, which is the pilot arc wire. 
and we've got another lead here which is just a two pin plug which is for the switch on your torch. Really easy to assemble guys. Stick them in there like so. Do them up. Put your main lead in here. Put your pilot arc wire in here guys and just when you hook this pilot arc wire up there'll be a washer in here. Make sure the washer is pushing down on this wire so it doesn't vibrate. Because sometimes when you're cutting, this will just vibrate, it puts like a harmonic through it and it'll start to spark and it just might not make a proper earth or it might burn out this contact. And then what we need to do here is just put our earth lead in here. Now I've reviewed a few of these machines guys and all of them are the same, they give you these crappy earth leads. Anyway, we'll use this just to start off with, but I wouldn't recommend you just stick with this earth lead. The better the earth, the more it's going to cut, the easier it'll cut. That's what I've found over the years anyway. But we'll use what they've given us and we'll see how we go. <laughs> so what we'll do guys is we'll just plug them into 220 volts. That plug here, I'll put it through my connector down below here, like so. And then because you don't have to assemble anything on the back of it, just plug your air line straight into the back of it guys. See our air gauge shot up then. So it looks like we're all set to go guys. I will go and turn it on at the back and we'll see if the thing actually lights up. <laughs> it's got an on off switch on the back of it guys, so here we go. What are we doing here? 50 amps. The uh, post time is set to three seconds. Two seconds right up to 15 seconds we can get it up to. So I'll put it at four seconds. As you can see here, the light is at 220 volt, so we're running at 50, the full 50 amps. So that can that switch is quite stiff, but it's yeah, it's quite good actually. It's a lot stiffer than the, on the other machines. We've got our ear set at what are we on? About 80 psi for your average cut. And once again, this is the adjuster for it, more or less. If we want to get rid of it a, bit, a little bit, we just turn it down like so, see the needle going down there. That's why I ordered this machine, because it's got all this on the front of it, which makes a big difference, that you're not pissing around the back of your machine, because you can't see it. So we'll just turn them back up again, to about 80 psi. Now normally what I find when the machine's all lit up, there'll be a fan that starts, but there's nothing, maybe it doesn't go. Woohoo, maybe it's the first dud I've got actually. Pull the trigger, Pete, see what bloody happens. Oh, it goes. You hear that, guys? The minute I pulled the trigger, the fan started. So it must have a really good cooling circuit, because the fan is not starting before I use the machine. So that's, that's, that's the first time I've ever come across that with a new plasma cutter. Seems to work alright guys. Well, I don't know if it works, but we'll have a go at cutting something, eh? Hee -ha! This is the quickest machine setup I've ever done in my life. Straight out of the box, straight into cutting. So guys, I picked up this bit of 5mm scrap off the floor, so we'll see if the little beast can cut that, eh? Yeah! -ha! What do you reckon guys? Pretty bloody good I reckon. Especially for a plug and play machine. Unbelievable, didn't have to assemble it. First time for everything. So far so good guys. Best Arc is the brand name. Uh, $239 or $249. I can't wait to put it through its paces. I'll compare it to some of my other plasma cutters. We'll see exactly how thick it can cut. Whether it can stand up to Pete's punishment. But anyway, so far so good. Same as usual guys, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. If you want to see a unboxing video on this machine, check up here. And if you want to see a review on another plasma cutter that I've done, check over there. See you later guys. Bye bye. 
peachtools.com. Peachtools.com.